I want to speak about these no good Congressional Black Caucus bootlegs out there in California who were sent out there on behalf of Gavin Newsom and the Democratic Plantation to undermine our reparations movement we had going on out there. Them people bought and paid for. And it's from, to my understanding, that them pe the people that's on the Congressional Black Caucus out there in California ain't nothing but damn tethered. They don't want us to get nothing no way. You know, doing little underhanded things behind the scenes to jeopardize the reparations movement. And it was brought to the floor by a white man that was a Republican. He did it, you know, as a chess move from, from my understanding. But the Democratic Party and the Black Caucus, they didn't second the motion. So the bill got shot down, which is damn insane. This is why we don't want people that's non-foundational Black Americans speaking for us. Because most of the time, they ain't got our best interests in mind. And truth be told, we need to have a vote on if the Congressional Black Caucus and the NAACP should be voted out because for years they've undermined, undermined, I mean, our best interests as foundational Black Americans. They ain't done absolutely nothing for us. And then these people still want us to go along to get along. Damn that. Because truth be told, um, Gavin Newsom, the whole Democratic plantation, Camilla Harris, Biden, all of them are complicit in it. You know, because they want to sit up here and prioritize illegal immigrants and elevate them over us and give them a leg up. They're giving them up to $50,000 out there in California for home ownership, give them a leg up. And then once they prop them up and give them a leg up, these people will start looking down on us when they get the massive leg up as a group talking some pull yourselves up by your bootstraps. This is this is damn insanity. We're foundational black Americans. This is our land. Our ancestors built it. And y'all want to sit up and just blatantly, constantly, always disrespect and undermine our best interests. Damn that. And y'all black folks that want to still support Kamala Harris and this damn Democratic plantation, you're voting against your own best interests and the interests of your group. And truth be told, if you keep on voting for them, they ain't going to respect us as a group because they're going to look at us as we powerless. You know, we keep on uh, voting and voting and voting for them and getting absolutely nothing. I heard the brother Tariq Nasheed say this on his show, the Democratic Party looks at us as a 3 a.m. jump off. They know they ain't got to do nothing for us and keep, and they can keep on getting what they want. Insane. And I also heard another brother on it, on uh, his show also say that they look at, we, we're in an abusive relationship with the Democratic Party because, and when you think about it, we are. That really sums it up. That was a good analysis on the part of that brother because we really are in an abusive relationship. They think they can get out here, shame us, talk to us anyway, and still get a vote for us for, for absolutely nothing. You know, Biden had told us we ain't black if we don't vote for him. Camilla Harris is saying um, she ain't going to do absolutely nothing for just black people. So what the hell are we going to vote for these people for? You're voting against your own best interest if you're a foundational black American. Now, the black immigrant, I can see, because she, uh, Camilla Harris ain't nothing but a damn tether. So she's going to elevate the immigrant class, you know, her affinity to white people that she's laying with, her white husband, white people, and, and, and the immigrant class. She ain't got no affinity towards foundational black Americans. And she done showed us that. So if you're a foundational black American voting for her, you absolutely stupid and foolish if you ask me, because they're going to look down upon our people and think we weak and powerless if we keep on voting. They can keep on doing stuff, stuff to us and we uh, don't give no pushback and resistance. We got to send a message out there that we ain't to be messed with. We need to have something specific for our group, not no minorities, not no immigrants, not no all lives matter, specifically for foundational black Americans, descendants of freedmen. And if they don't want to provide it, we don't rock with neither party. But truth be told, I'm kind of, you know, I want, I'm, I'm hell bent right now on seeing Kamala Harris and the Democratic Party crash out and burn. I want to, I want to send a message out there to them you know, for what they've done to our people, you know, and shot that reparations bill down. That really irks me. That really got me mad. I want to send a message. I want to see her crash out, the whole Democratic Party. And I'm starting to, you know, flirt with the idea of, uh, you know, Trump might Trump might be a better choice, I, I, you know, than her, you know, but I ain't voting, but I'm starting to sway more. My thoughts are starting to sway more on the Trump side because at least Trump's policies never undermined us. She's putting policies in that's burying foundational black Americans. And truth be told, that's why they brought all these immigrants over here with the prioritize them over us to, you know, remove the steam from our reparations movement and elevate these people over us because they knew they was losing us as a base. These immigrants are a direct slap in the face to all foundational black Americans. So damn that. If you foundational black American and voting for Kamala Harris, you're really voting against your own best interests and the needs of your people. Because she done told us what she was going to do. Absolutely nothing. 
and they had a a, a, a white gentleman out there in a chess move. I, I think I already said that though, but he uh, was trying to push, you know, to get the, the bill on the floor, but they wanted second the motion and he was a Republican doing this, you know? So we may be able to get more from it, truth be told, with the Republican Party because these Democrats already showed us we've been that loyal voting base for them for 50 and 60 years. I don't know, you know, why, why do we continue to keep on putting up with this nonsense as a people because they are, they're doing absolutely nothing for us, and it's blatant disrespect. It's blatant disrespect. This is a one-sided relationship, like you be in a relationship with your significant other, and they just totally use you and abuse you and, you know, use you when they when they can, and then when they're done with you, they throw you out. This is what the Democratic Party is doing to our people. They're doing absolutely nothing. You know, and if people keep voting for them, they ain't going to have no respect for our people. And I think it's, you know crazy that those damn tethered out there sold us out and I, I heard it was because you know that they they wanted to deliver the bill they didn't feel that some someone delivered the bill without them some of that nature and they wanted to shine off of the bill they wanted to personally deliver the bill so uh their name could be attached to it when it when it went up there to get passed so they could get the recognition damn that we trying to get something for our group why does people need to be recognized and and um you know, one all the limelight and stuff like that. We're trying to get stuff for our group. This is why we got to la stop allowing these damn tethers and these immigrant, uh, even if they melanated, to stop speaking for us. Because, uh, you know, they ain't our people. We got to start morally codifying with our people as foundational black Americans and keeping outsiders out of our affairs. Because when we keep these outsiders out of our affairs, we can gain power. No other group lets outsiders meddle in their affairs or even speak for them, truth be told. We got to start codifying around that. And when people come around with funny style, ulterior motives, we got to start questioning these people's agenda because that's a damn shame they undermine that reparations movement out there. And you had a white Republican that was going to deliver it to the floor. And he, was just, he wasn't doing that out of good faith, but he, you know, sometimes you got to remove your emotions. He was doing a chess move, a power move, you know, maybe to, to lift up his particular party. But them damn Democrats, you know, and... Harris and Biden is complicit in it for letting all this damn immigration in. They sold us out, you know, sold us up shit's creek without a paddle. And I don't respect that. I don't respect it one bit. So we got to just start codifying around our lineage because that's where our power is going to come from. That's going to be our power base. That's getting on cold with all foundational black Americans and not voting for this damn Democratic Party. You know, I ain't personally voting. But if somebody's going to vote, I'm starting to think I'd rather see them. You know, if you're going to vote family, I'm starting to think I'd rather see um, the family, if they're going to vote, if they're absolutely going to, you know, it's going to, if, if your heart, your hell bent, your heart's set on voting and you're going to vote by any means necessary, I think I'd rather see the family vote for Donald Trump because at least he ain't doing nothing to undermine the interests of our people, but I ain't voting again, you know, but Camilla Harris got these damn policies with all this mass immigration and then she's claiming now she's going to lock down the border. She only doing that to garner the support because she see Donald Trump getting all the support from from that talk of point of locking down the border. He already had the border locked down. Y'all got in there and made it a damn open border for every illegal immigrant to come across. And you had the border open for four years. So these people ain't never going home. And you giving them a leg up with that home ownership out there. These people going to settle right here. These people ain't looking back to their damn homeland. That's the private resources and in deprivation. These people want to stay here. These people ain't going home. And you're talking about locking the border. You know, you're only doing that because you're trying to garner some support, you know. And once you get in the office, if you do get in the office, the border going to go right back to being open. That's just a talking point you're trying to play off of to get in the office. You know, just my thoughts on the matter, but family, hold the vote to something tangible is done because that's a damn shame. Our ancestors built this nation, fought in every war, and were old reparations, and they continually, continually slap us in the face and want to prioritize all these damn illegal immigrants over us. If you don't think something wrong with this picture, you blind, you know? I don't know what your problem is, and you damn foolish if you ask me, because continuing to vote for this democratic plantation, you vote against the best interests of yourself, for one, and the needs of your people. Just my thoughts on the matter, but stop, get off the democratic plantation. Peace.